Hey, what's up guys? This is the new TP-Link Deco XE75. It's TP-Link's first mesh Wi-Fi 6E system and this video is sponsored by TP-Link. So I'm going to unbox this thing, do some speed tests both in wired and wireless backhaul and do some range tests both with my Wi-Fi 6 device which is my iPhone 13 Pro Max and with my Wi-Fi 6E device which is my Galaxy S22 Ultra because this does support Wi-Fi 6E. Now what is Wi-Fi 6E and how does this make things better? Well, Wi-Fi 6E in a nutshell is a new 6 GHz band that is a lot less congested resulting in faster speeds. It also has the 160 MHz channels. So in a nutshell, it's supposed to be a faster frequency that you can hop on. Well, Wi-Fi 6E devices support it, but even if you don't have Wi-Fi 6E devices, there's also still a benefit because according to this, they're going to use it as a dedicated backhaul channel. And because Wi-Fi 6E supports faster speeds, you can in theory get faster Wi-Fi connections in a wireless backhaul setting. Okay, now what is a mesh Wi-Fi and how does it work? Well, in a nutshell, this is a really good depiction of it. And a mesh Wi-Fi is usually when you have two or more devices where at least one of those two is a router and it creates one single network. Essentially, in a nutshell, it's a Wi-Fi dead zone killer because as you can see with these circles, you know, if you're closer to this guy, you connect to this guy and you have a pretty good signal. And when you walk to this other side of the house, you connect to this one automatically. You don't do anything. It switches it for you and you have a pretty good Wi-Fi signal. So that's why they call it a Wi-Fi dead zone killer. And it also comes with the TP-Link Home Shield, which comes with a few extra things like network protection, parental controls, quality of service, and some reports. We have three gigabit ports. They should be auto sensing and it has a power port. And it looks a lot like the Deco X68, which I've reviewed except it has three Ethernet ports, supports Wi-Fi 6E, and has a faster speed rating. But one of the reasons why I like the X68 so much is because it was an amazing budget tri-band system. It was a lot cheaper, it still gave pretty good performance. And I think that's where they're going with this because this is supposed to retail for $299.99 in the US when it comes out, which is way cheaper than the competition. So I'm actually very curious to know how well this is going to do. We have the same exact thing right there. And taking a look, it's probably just gonna be the power plugs. We have can't connect if you have problems. Call us. We have the power, which is usually, yeah, 100 to 240 volts. Regular power plug, very similar to the other TP-Links that I've tested. And have the same power plug for the other guy and we should have an ethernet cable. So ethernet cable does not say if it's cat 5 or cat 6, but I'm sure it supports gigabit speeds and we have a quick installation guide. Granted, these things are pretty simple to set up with the TP-Link Deco app. It's been a few days since I've unboxed these and I've been using as my main mesh system and so far so good. So no drops, something like that. And I had a chance to do all the speed tests and range tests. I have all those numbers here. Let's jump straight in with the internet speed test. Now, no matter how fast your router is, you are going to be capped at your internet speeds when you're accessing the internet. So whatever you're paying for to your ISP, your internet service provider, that's what you're going to be capped at, assuming the router can even go that fast, which in my case, this can, because my internet speeds are 940 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload. And notice I said megabits per second, not megabytes per second because one byte is equal to eight bits. So there's actually a huge difference between those two numbers. So when I do the speed test with my computer that's hooked up via ethernet to this thing, I get those full speeds, no problem. However, with the Wi-Fi devices, that's typically a different story. And this is where our journey begins. Looking at the Wi-Fi 6 speeds, we get some very good download speeds, but the upload speeds do suffer. And the same is true for the Wi-Fi 6E devices. However, this is pretty typical with all the Wi-Fi devices that I test, with all the mesh Wi-Fi and routers that I test, is that those upload speeds do tend to suffer quite a bit. 
which is one of the reasons why I do local speed tests. So in this case, I make my computer into a speed test server and I go from phone to router to computer, isolating the router, getting rid of my ISP and the public speed test server, which can fluctuate at times. So in this case, as you guys can see from the speeds, there's literally a huge drastic increase in speeds, especially with the Wi-Fi 6C device. However, one thing I did want to mention, Wi-Fi 6C can actually go faster than these speeds, but because they're limited by the gigabit ports on the Deco, it can't go faster than that, again, because of the limitations of this. Now, this shouldn't be an issue if you're pretty much don't have anything faster than gigabit anyways. However, it's something worth noting. Now, jumping to the wired backhaul, you pretty much get the same exact speeds and it would be true because, you know, there is an ethernet from this guy to this guy. And when I am doing the speed test, I am doing it from the secondary one. Now for the wireless backhaul, this thing actually did very, very well considering its price and its speed test rating. Now something specific to this Deco is that inside the Deco app, you actually get an option to select six gigahertz as a dedicated backhaul channel, which is what I did for this test to get these amazing speeds. And if you guys are wondering, it was about 40 feet away from the secondary one to the main one. Now you do have, you know, you could turn that option off, but you do get slower speeds. However, something else worth noting, when that option is on and the six gigahertz is being used as a dedicated backhaul channel, you cannot connect Wi-Fi devices to it, just as a heads up. And also worth noting, you can only connect Wi-Fi 6E devices to that. No other device can connect to the six gigahertz band. Very, very good speeds nonetheless. Now, moving on to range tests. So range will vary based on location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around, all of this stuff can hurt your range. I am in more of an open area than I used to be. Inside the place, 20 feet away, very, very good speeds, hardly a drop, honestly. At 50 feet away, still getting very, very good speeds, and I am outside at this point, if you guys are wondering. And this thing goes all the way up to 250 feet, which is very, very good considering the price of this thing. Now, moving to the Deco app, this is what you would use to set this thing up and to configure it, which was honestly a breeze to set up. It literally tells you what you need to connect where, and it tells you to pick your Wi-Fi name and your password, your SSID, and you're done up and running very very quickly and you can use your same e existing i should say or older routers info and your devices should automatically connect to it however worth noting that not only is the password case sensitive but the wi-fi named ssid itself is also case sensitive so it does need to be verbatim now as far as configuring, you get all your main options very organized all in one place. And if you want to tinker with it some more, there is an advanced section. And it does also come with parental controls. And one thing that I did notice with this is I actually have a whole bunch of TP-Link uh, smart plugs and smart switches and stuff. And they actually showed up here. And I can actually create shortcuts out of this, out of them within the Deco app. So I, so I can basically say, oh, create a shortcut to turn on these two plugs. Uh, a minute later for five minutes and then to turn them off just by clicking it once. So you can actually do stuff like that and there's automation stuff uh, there too. So it actually gives you additional options if you do have these TP-Link uh, smart plugs and stuff. Now, is it worth getting these? Why or why not? Well, honestly, it depends on your situation. In my mind, this is an excellent choice for anyone up to gigabit internet speeds for the following reasons. Number one, you get amazing wired and wireless backhaul speeds. You get very, very good range and you get those additional features like parental controls and other stuff that's not exactly included with other mesh systems that I've tested. And this is by far the cheapest mesh Wi-Fi 6C. And by a huge margin, as of now, the second cheapest mesh Wi-Fi 6C that comes in a two pack retails for $4.99. So the fact is that this retails for $2.99, which is honestly, it's absurd. So it is an amazing set. Now this video is sponsored by TP-Link, but honestly, this thing is amazing. Just like I thought that the Deco X60 was amazing. I think this is now the new budget king. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.